Now then, my friends, I hope you're all well, and I hope you enjoyed the Benidorm series. I've got to say, I think I found my new love with Benidorm. I really, really did enjoy it. I thought it was absolutely, it was just one of those places where I went over, I didn't know what to expect. I thought, right, I'll just take my camera, I'll go over and film, I'll do a little bit of research before and just ask a few recommendations of my friends out there. And it all fell together perfectly. Absolutely loved it. It was really friendly and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed filming it. Um, and I was going to go somewhere else this week. I was going to get on another plane when I come back, fly off and do uh, another series somewhere else. However, um, I thought, just stop one second. I know this is a travel, food and tech channel, but um, this, this channel does kind of influence people where to go uh, and where to eat, etc. So it does help businesses and there is a cost of living crisis in the uk and i figured do you know what i think this week i shall stay in the uk stay at home and go around some local businesses and see if i can help them out and support them by going to them and reviewing their uh, food and reviewing their breakfasts and fish and chips and whatever pies steaks whatever there is burgers uh, and give them a little bit of support. So um, uh, don't worry though, I will be going away again. It is a travel food and tech channel, a little bit of tech with the car and stuff. Um, so I will be jetting off on a plane again, but I did want to just give some support back into the UK, back into my, um, obviously where I live in the UK. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing this week. I'm gonna be going around the UK and we're gonna be going to different places. The Blonde Angel may be joining us again as well this week, uh, uh, coming with me. So that, look forward to that. I know there's a lot of Blonde Angel, uh, uh, friends of the Blonde Angel out there. Um, so today we are off to a place called Eats and Treats, which is in Eastwood. Uh, now Eastwood is the birthplace of D.H. Lawrence. And this place has been recommended to me uh, by a friend out there, a MacMaster friend of the channel, and said that you have to go for the butcher's at breakfast. So I thought, that sounds good. A proper butcher's sausage. Now I looked at the menu, uh, and the menu said <clears throat> you can actually have a butcher's sausage, which you get one, I think, or you can go for a standard breakfast with a standard sausage. But I think I'm gonna go for the butcher's sausage. I'm sick of these catering sausages. I want a proper sausage. So that's where we're gonna to go today. We're gonna to mark it out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well uh, on looks and on cost. Remember with the cost um, though, I am going for the butcher's sausage. I'm going for a little bit more quality this time. You can go for the, the cheaper version. I'll show you the menu when I get there. If you're new to the channel, by the way, please do hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Share these videos um, uh, across on your social media platforms as well, uh, if possible, because as I say, this helps out local family businesses, which is what, excuse me, it's gonna get out of this junction here. Um, this helps local family businesses, and that's what I'm trying to do uh, in these next few videos. And um, before we jet off somewhere else and uh, get on a plane. I'm rambling now, aren't I? I'm rambling, I'm babbling on. But the blonde angel's back this week. She's just messaged me. Anyway, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Now, I have a list of places that I'm going to visit in the UK, um, and uh, that does include uh, Scotland, Wales, and uh, Ireland as well. Uh, and have I missed anybody else? Scotland, Wales, England, Ireland, you know, all over. I've got a list of places from all over the world anyway. Um, I've also got uh, one that I'm really looking forward to, um, which is the oldest chippy in Glasgow, I believe, uh, and also one um in ireland which is the oldest chippy in ireland where all the uh where all the stars go to and bruce springsteen has been there as well uh so i'm gonna hop on a plane uh when i can and get over there 
Um, I might even take the plane to Scotland as well rather than drive this milk float up there. Be a lot quicker and, and a lot less coffees as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. So if you have any suggestions, please do pop your suggestions in the comment section down below because I do make a list of everything. I've got a list and don't worry if you don't see me do it straight away. I keep them on that list. Um, so give me an idea of where you'd like me to go. Uh, local family businesses, if possible, because I think that at the moment, that's what we should be supporting. Um, I mean, I have done chains and I, and I will do them, but I'd rather support local family businesses because they need our help at the moment. And um, if you see any of these as well, any videos that I've done and uh, you like the look of it, head over. Tell them you've uh, seen them on the MacMaster channel, head over and go and support them because I think that's the kind of thing that we need to be doing at the moment. And I think that's the great thing about this channel uh, as well. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm actually looking forward to this, a proper butcher's breakfast. I've had enough of catering sausages. Come on, onwards. By the way, the road's here, but what's going on? It's like a, an arcade game, isn't it? Trying to avoid the pothole at the moment. You get, I, I could disappear. If I disappear, I fell down a pothole. <laughs> Come on. Right, here we are, Eastwood, birthplace of D.H. Lawrence. I'm looking forward to this because it's been, uh, it seems like it's been a while since I've had a decent sausage. Anyway, come on. Enough said the better about, about that phrase, the better. Onwards. Right. Free parking round the back for an hour. There you go, mark that one down. Here we go, eat some treats. Looks well, a nice little place. And in summer, they've got a little garden on the back. I've done my, I've done my research. Right, here we are at Eats and Treats. I am looking forward to this. I've, I've seen it online. It looks superb. I love this. There's a little garden as well, uh, like a little walled garden when it's summer. It's a little cold at the moment, but I'll, uh, is it, can we have a look around and just show that part? God, not, it's winter, but there's somewhere to sit. So summertime, if you're watching this in the summer, pop over and come and sit in the garden. But first, take a look around my friends. We've got a garden out here as i say it's winter at the moment so uh, it's closed off but this looks like it's going to be a lovely little walled garden uh, for summer i can imagine being out here with a g and t or a latte or whatever nice piece of cake and stuff anyway uh, as i say it's winter now at the moment so we're going to head back in and we're going to go for that butcher's breakfast i can't wait <laughs> Oh, 
Right, here we are, eats and treats in Eastwood. Uh, I'm gonna go for the butcher's breakfast, like I said, but before we go any further, just take a close look at the menu, my friends. Right, so I'm ready to order. So we've got Cara here, and I'm, I'm going to order the uh, the butcher's breakfast. Now you've just told me that normally they do. It's like one big sausage. Yeah, it comes with one big one usually, but they're a bit small this month, so we just put two on for you. Yeah. Fantastic. So uh, Lincolnshire sausages as well. Yeah. Um, and then we've got two bacon, one egg, black pudding, hash browns, tomatoes, beans, mushrooms. Oh, hang on a minute. Fried bread. You can have fried bread or toast. I'm going to go for fried Definitely bread, please. And fried. Yeah, it got to be fried bread, hasn't it? That's a proper, proper full English. That is <laughs> butcher's breakfast. Um, and I'll have a. Now then, is it tea or coffee with breakfast? I what do you reckon? Tea, but we do have very good. I reckon coffee. we'll go. I'll go for tea. I think. I yeah. think tea's better. It's more refreshing, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Is it? Do you want a teapot for one, or just a cup? Um, I think I'll have a, a teapot for yeah. one, please. Be a little bit refined. Really, yeah. yeah. Thank <laughs> you very much. Looking forward to this. Right, my friends, well, I can tell you by looking at it, I tell you what, I'm well excited because uh, the last few breakfasts that I've had, there's been catering sausages. These are proper Lincolnshire sausage. We've got the fried bread there. I mean, wow, everybody loves fried bread. We've got black pudding. The egg is done to perfection. Got the mushrooms, got the bacon. There's no fat on the bacon. I am a happy boy, I have to tell you. Before we go any further, just take a closer look, my friends. Right, okay, so here we go. That's going for the sausage first, the Lincolnshire sausage. We've got Daddy's now. That is controversial. Daddy's or HP. I actually have to say, I like a bit of Daddy's. Um, so I know Daddy's or HP. Let's go on to there. Oh, it's so good to have a proper sausage. Just, just look at that, my friends. A proper butcher's sausage. Butcher's breakfast, got the fried bread. What I might do there as well is pop that egg on top of the fried bread. Look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at that. When you cut into that fried bread, wow. Oh, this is the best bit. Hang on. I'm going to get a little bit of tomato on there. Tin tomatoes. Dip it in. Mm. Oh my word. Wow. This is fantastic. Hash browns. Not greasy. Mm. That's fried bread. Wow. 
Oh, I'll tell you what, I've got to keep a bit of that though to soak up that tomato juice there. Look at that. Get it in the tomato juice. Oh yeah. Absolutely fantastic. I am absolutely loving this. Look at that. Right, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to eat this, then come back to you because I, this is the this is the best breakfast I've had in a while. Proper quality breakfast. See you guys in a minute. Go on, leave me to it. Wow. Mm. Right, I'm going to stop it right here because I've got to tell you, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. So I'm not going to get any more camera angles of me filling my face because I'm loving it. That fried bread is lush. Um, the sausages were perfect. This is the, I'm going to say before I mark this out of 10, this is the, this is one of the best breakfasts I've had in a long while. It's quality, quality sausage, quality bacon. The fried bread is just beautiful um especially when you mix them tomatoes with it and i have to say i'm swaying towards daddy's over hp I, they, that is controversial the black pudding cooked to perfection everything about this breakfast is quality my friends so leave me with it i'll come back to you and we'll mark it out of 10 but i tell you this i can't remember the last time i had a breakfast that was this tasty and this good i'll see you guys in a minute Right, my friends, boy oh boy, I've got to tell you, I have reviewed hundreds, what, thousands of uh, full English breakfasts, um, and yet again, uh, as I've said before, family businesses, family local run businesses, since the pandemic, seem to have excelled themselves, whereas <coughs> franchises or, uh, or larger businesses, um, corporate or corporations, large corporations um, have gone downhill because they don't put into their business their heart and soul uh, and that family business there just goes to prove my point yet again. Um, they didn't know I was going in, the lady that owns the place was a little bit worried because she has seen some of my reviews. She says, what's your channel, what's your channel? And she was a bit, a bit worried, I said, Look, I, I'm always honest with my reviews and, you know, I will be honest if it's good, it's, it's, then I'll say it's good. Um, and it was, it was bloody good. Honestly, that is, I'm going to stick my neck out here and say, for me, that's one of the best breakfasts, if not the best breakfast that I've had in a long time. 
proper sausages, proper nice fried bread cooked to perfection. The egg was cooked perfectly with the white glaze over the top and I didn't ask them for that either. That's how it came. Um, Daddy's though controversial. Daddy's or HP. Now do you know what? There's a. I've had some people say about HP and go, oh no, Daddy's is better. And I have to say, I've never really had Daddy's before. I've always gone for HP, but I I really liked it. Don't I really like? I actually liked the Daddy's. I mean, I mean it's borderline whether you know it could overtake HP. Um, Everything about it was spot on. Uh, inside there, they've got some beautiful cakes, by the way, and other stuff if you don't want full English breakfast. They do some great lunches by the looks of their menu as well. Afternoon teas. Um, the, uh, the lady that served me there that you saw on camera was so, so friendly. Uh, and, and for 8 65 including a pot of tea, I think that, for a quality breakfast, is bang on. So I'm going to give this a 10 plus right i'm going to put a plus at the end of the 10 because they knocked it out of the ballpark for me and i'm so so pleased <laughs> i'm so pleased because it's a family business and they deserve it so uh, there you go eats and treats um well done you knocked it out of the ballpark do me a favor i know a lot of people go around and go to these different places that i've reviewed please do head there it's in eastwood it's it's actually a really nice town you can go and see where dh lawrence was born as well and visit there after you've got an hour's free parking if you want to park for a bit longer it's only cost like i think it's a quid for two hours or something it's really cheap parking as well um it's fantastic so i'll put the details in the description down below please do share this on social media uh, and let's support these local businesses uh, in these difficult times i think that's what uh, that's what things should be about these days so thanks for watching thanks to eats and treats i'm sorry i'm sorry to the owner if i worried you a little bit but in the end there was nothing to worry about because it's that, that is the best breakfast I've had in a long while. It was nice. It was, God, it was refreshing to have a proper nice sausage instead of them blooming catering sausages. It was beautiful, gorgeous. Oh. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Go on, get out of here. Bye-bye. Love you all.